Kootenai River here just below Canal Flats and the river's running good you can see I'm gonna make really good time today and uh, it looks like the clouds are going away and the sun's gonna come out and we're gonna have an awesome day here when I say we I always mean me because uh, I never really arrange to get other people to go on these trips but having fun out here and got my guardian angel Aerie with me and I'm ready to go so packed up uh, first part of this trip is nine days from Canal Flats to Libby Montana so hopefully we'll see some wildlife today and uh, I'll share that with you later information here. Um, the Kootenai River divides into lots of braided channels in here and uh, if you go down the wrong channel you might actually bottom out and have to walk till you find the main channel. So I'm using my whitewater skills here to read the water and uh, find the best channels to go down where the water is going to be the deepest. And so just got to kind of look at where the water's going and you know go to where it's the deepest watch out for the uh, shallow rocks you'll see little riffles on top real indication that it's going to get shallow and you're probably not going to be able to make it through but uh, still it's a beautiful thing I'm gonna change the camera angle here see that this is a broad plain right here and the river just kind of winds its way through so so far I've been lucky no bottoming out and I've hit the right channel every time so uh, we'll let you know what comes up here talk to you soon alrighty another day on the river better than a day at work it's awesome today. Got a pretty early start, 8 a.m. So, a little chill in the air, but that's not a problem. And, uh, just gonna look for wildlife today. And it should be a pretty good day. I think we're gonna have good flow on the river. We, when I say we, I always mean I. I'm gonna have good flow on the river. But I uh, took a bath in the river yesterday, got all cleaned up, washed my clothes. So I'm ready for some more paddling. So let's do it.
a thunderstorm here with rain. Uh, it's been thundering now for about 10 minutes. So uh, you can hear the rain is just really... And you can hear that over here, you can see there's sunlight. And over here, it's a little darker. So hopefully the storm will pass and very soon. But nice and dry in my tent. It's blowing like a son of a gun. Almost lost my whole gear, boat and everything. If I had not gone into these uh, reeds right here, I would have lost my boat. So this thing came out of nowhere, super quick. Thank God I got it saved. straight downwind which is where I don't want to go I'm quartering the wave so it's actually pulling me to the right side of the lake and I'm using my rudder pushing hard on my left foot so it counteracts that um, ability or that tendency to weathercock into the wind here which is my boat would go to straight sideways here and I'd be paddling in what's called the trough of the wave which would not be fun so I can just let up on the rudder just a little bit if I get too corrected too far if I don't get corrected enough I press on the rudder so pretty simple and then when we get across the main section here then I can straighten it out and just head right for that point the far point on the left side of the lake 
and uh, we're just going to ride this wave all the way there and uh, take advantage of this today. It's very rare that you have the wind going with you. There, that's probably better. Sorry. Um, we're just going to ride these uh, wind waves all the way to the next point. That's probably four miles. And uh, super easy paddling. Just got to keep your feet on that rudder and uh, keep the boat from weather cocking. Weather cocking is when the wind takes the boat and pushes it sideways. And uh, with the rudder, you can counteract that really easy. With the skeg, not so much. Pretty difficult. And so, um, let's look at some of these waves here. minutes I'd say but uh, we'll just ride this out have some fun
There we go. Uphill part was not too bad. Now we're heading downhill. Not very many friendly people out here. I, I wave, but I don't usually get an acknowledgement. So, if you think you're tough, maybe you should try this. Later. Underground, I've got dreams.